when the cabinet presents in blue, it means it's time to clean the cabinet. You've got 24 hours to do so before it becomes a problem and it goes into a red state. So when it comes time to clean it, first of all, click on the control panel and click removal. Removed all scopes. Which digitally removes every single scope from that cabinet. After you've physically removed the scopes, it's time to remove all of the hoses from the cabinet because this is the time we do a swap out of the hose kits as well. So unplugging all the lower locks and then they go off to CSSD. Then cleaning the surfaces of the cabinets using hospital grade disinfectant wipes, similar, it could be Tuffy's, Matrix, whatever you use for all your surfaces is applicable here. As long as you're not using ammonia or alcohol, it's good to go. So it's basically starting at the back top of the cabinet, hardest to re reach, and bringing yourself all the way forward to the easiest to reach places so you're not wiping your body over the surfaces you've just wiped down. On the system, we monitor all the environmental conditions. So what's happening inside the cabinet, as well as cleaning regime. So on a weekly cleaning regime, you have to validate that it was you and you clean the cabinet. So to do this, after cleaning the cabinet, you get your staff code, Operator. You swipe it, hear the operator, and you click the clean date. Cleaned. And it validates and recalculates that clean time for the next clean. And it prints out a little label that can go into a logbook about cleaning. It's also stored on the main database. When it comes to washing in CSSD, we have a product where we sell in packs of 10. These are called washer rack hose connection kits. Basically you get 10 in a pack. It allows you to potentially connect four of the hoses in CSSD at a time per port. So basically if you had a grommet, this is how you would use it and you would just push the barb into the grommet and then connect your hoses. By removing the barb, now you can connect to a lower port on the washer rack and then you still get four. Once again, if you pull off the lure lock, you can push it straight onto a barb and you still get four. So basically, it just adds efficiency into the cleaning process for the washer rack. So when cleaning your cabinet, the main things to consider is PPE. So you're spending an extended period of time in the cabinet, consider using a mask, gloves, good quality detergent wipes, and potentially gowning up you're trying to get the cabinet back to its optimum condition, which is the cleanest environment you can possibly have for an endoscope to live in. By following these little procedures, your cabinet will be clean and good to go.